Thanks, Rob. Thanks, John. Appreciate the time. Hey, what does it mean to be able to, to put two dominant performances together by this defense? Um, just it shows that we're moving in the right direction. You know, we want to keep stacking these games on top of each other, keep getting better every week. And, um, you know, it's still early in the season. You know, we're still fairly new all together. And we're trying to still build that continuity. But, you know, two games it, it, it's the better. The best part about it, you, uh, you got a chance for, to stack three on top of each other. And and I know you you got your other duties, but what's it like to see that defensive line getting the push that it's getting and being disruptive as it is? How much easier does that make your job? Oh, a lot easier. You know, in the game, we definitely felt it. You know, we don't have to cover for long. I felt like we had pretty good coverage uh, all game long. But um, just watching that tape just now, you see guys just mauling people off the ball. You know, we're in the backfield, offensive alignment on the ground. So it's just awesome. And it's a lot of, uh, you know, a trust within the back end uh, in the rush uh, all season long. So it's, it's great. Thanks, man. Yep. Thank you, Tom. Marla Reidenauer has our next question. Uh, yeah, I think it was Miles yesterday who, who said after the first drive, you guys were just misaligned and had to communicate better. Better Is that what was – so there really weren't that many adjustments? It was just a matter of getting things cleaned up? Right. I think I think we just had to get settled in. Um, like you said, you know, just a few small errors. It wasn't really like a schematic thing. It wasn't like we just got beat. You know, it was a long drive. I think it was like 14 plays or something. We really made them earn it, but it was just like – just locking in and finishing them off. And I think, you know, at the end of the, uh, towards the, the rest of the game, we did a good job of that. And Miles said in an on-field interview, he had a surprise for Coach Stefanski when he got back. Have you, do you did he tell you what it was? Nah, he did. <laughs> I, I, I'm looking forward to it. Did, did it happen already? Do you know? Uh, Coach Stefanski wouldn't say, so maybe he's saving it for Wednesday. I'm just hopefully, curious. Hopefully, hopefully it's on Wednesday. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Marla. Mary Kay Cabot, you're up. Uh, yes, yeah, just wondering, John, do you um, do you feel like you guys as a defense are only starting to kind of scratch the surface of what you're going to be capable of this season and um, and sort of a little bit of a follow up to that too? Uh, just the young guys. How, how do you think the young guys are really coming along? Oh, like you said, I think we are just scratching the surface. Uh, I said in the previous interview that, you know, we really need to hone in on taking the ball away and then even scoring on defense. So I think, you know, it's a lot to improve on. But, um, you know, when you put up a game like that, you know, hold them to seven points, you know, just off the first drive is definitely a great starting point, but it's a lot to get better at. And the young guys, you know, I we've had turnovers taken away two weeks in a row. You know, Grant Delpit got his hands on the ball. You know, Greedy had his uh, first career interception. So, you know, guys are just buying into to what we're trying to accomplish here, and it's, it's awesome to see. And, you know, how, just your own game in general, because of the first few weeks when I – or, like, last week I looked at your, uh, you know, your PFF ranking, and I was surprised to see that it wasn't what I was seeing you do on the field. It just looked like it was way lower than what you were accomplishing on the field. So uh, just wondering how you feel about your own start to the season. Yeah, I think the first few games I had to get my feet underneath of me. It's just like a new role, a uh, new position. You know, I'm used to like playing all over the place. Now I'm like solely deep, solely in the post. Um, but I'm definitely getting a lot more comfortable. You could just, you know, just my feet are more calm. I'm just, you know, seeing things a lot faster. So I think, you know, it just comes with reps and stuff like that. Um, most of the time, you know, those grades don't really, you know, like you said, don't really match up to what's actually going on. So, you know, I'm just want to go out there and winning is the most important thing to me. So, Having great perform team performances on defense and winning is the biggest thing. Thank you. Thanks, Mary Kay. Scott Petrick, go ahead. Hey, John, what do you think the biggest differences are from those first couple of weeks from the defense overall, from the first couple of weeks to the last couple of weeks? I think it's just trusting one another, you know, to, to do each 111th job. Like the first few weeks, it's kind of, I wouldn't say freestyling, but it was kind of like we we're just all out there, just, just, playing defense, running around like chickens with our heads go. But now we're actually like, OK, I'm going to lock in. I'm going to do my job. I'm going to do my assignment. And, and it's really paying off. So hopefully, you know, we can start jumping on people even more and making a lot more plays and taking that ball away. But it's really just each individual doing their job. And it's, it's showing up and it's paying off. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Dale Ryder has our next question. When the front four is getting as much pressure as they were uh, yesterday on Kirk, who 
is a guy that doesn't get pressured much. He gets the ball out so fast. Just how much easier did that make your job in the secondary? Oh, it's, it's huge. You know, once, you know, with a quarterback like that, I said it earlier in the week, when you take his first uh, read away, you know, it takes that rush because it's going to get home. And, and they rush their tails off all game. So, I mean, like, once we stayed on our man, trusted what we saw and took that first read away, we knew that rush was going to get there. And it definitely made our job a lot easier, you know, not having to worry about a quarterback extending plays, scrambling around. So it, it was just awesome to see. Hopefully if we can carry it on. When Miles got guys together before the, the Bears game, is that kind of like a little bit of a turning point for you guys where he just got up and said, hey, what we're doing isn't good enough? You know, yesterday after the game, Baker kind of said the same thing about how he played yesterday. It's just it's it's not good enough. Just is someone coming into like this team, you came from the Rams who were a playoff team. Just what does that mean to you guys as players when your leaders of the team really take that accountability upon themselves? Right. That's what I was going to go with, the accountability. Um, and that's one of the pillars that we stand on in this organization. And that's like championship football, you know, being accountable and holding others accountable. And um, it, when guys like leaders do that and other guys buy into it, that's championship football. And that's what it takes. And, um, you know, each week we just want to keep getting better, keep holding each other accountable, keep doing the right things. And hopefully, you know, we can make this push. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you, Daryl. PJ Ziegler, we'll go to you. Thanks, Rob. Hey, uh, John. Um, and you, you mentioned this just a few minutes ago, and I'm wondering if it's still the same answer, but um, this defense really started to come together during that uh, Chicago week. Was it something there that, that happened that clicked for you guys, or was it just what you just mentioned about everybody just started trusting each other a little bit more? Yeah, i say, I mean, anytime you have like a, a young quarterback, you know, you really want to dominate that game. You want to make it hard for him. You want to make it extremely difficult. So I think, you know, it was just like the the perfect storm, you know, the perfect timing of guys buying into what we're trying to do and just dominating it and feeling that moment, you know, feeling the energy, feeling the, the progress that we made. So it's just it's kind of like contagious amongst the defense that we want to just keep getting better, keep being accountable, keep doing our job. So I, I don't think it was like one specific moment. I just think it just kind of slowly, you know, took off for us. And how different is uh, SoFi Stadium in terms of, uh, being a dome, obviously, this is the first time that you'll have played in front of fans. And and what kind of uh, um, how how do you think it'll play differently with fans now in in, in attendance? Oh, it's it's going to be you know anytime you're indoors, you know it's automatically louder. You know we just came from a, a indoor stadium, um, a turf stadium. So I mean, anytime you're indoors, it's, it's it's louder. And like you said, it's the first time having fans. But you know, I think the the Rams show up a little better than the Chargers uh, fan-wise, but we'll see how it goes. And, you know, it's, it's a role game, you know, an AFC opponent. Those are always tough, so we just got to be ready to go. Thanks, PJ. We have Malik Jackson on his way. Let's try to get three more quick ones in. Mary Kay, Marlon Scott, Mary Kay. Uh, yeah, John, just wondering, uh, Baker, you know, was pretty hard on himself again, as we've mentioned, after the game. So, And he was so grateful to you guys for doing what you were able to do. Uh, just wondering if he verbalized that to you guys, maybe, you know, after the game, did he sort of hold himself a little accountable and thank the defense for, uh, for having the kind of game that it did? Right. I would say like on, on the sideline and in the locker room, you know, he, you could tell that he was a little frustrated, but we, we kept him up and uh, we told him, you know, we get the ball back for him and we trust in him and stuff like that. So, um, you know, it's just, you know, it's one of those games. Everyone has those games. Um, I don't think it was, you know, that terrible, you know, it was, good enough to win the game. That's how I look at it. So, I mean, you could tell that he was frustrated, but I know for sure that the type of the guy he is, he'll bounce back. Thank you, Mary Kay. To Marla? Yeah, you mentioned earlier about watching the Lyman Mall people, but what is, do you see the two Maliks kind of coming on strong? I mean, just wondering, you know, what you're seeing from them. Oh, those two dudes, man, they, they get after. I mean, it, I saw it a few times. It was a little bit after the play. Luckily, we didn't get a flag, but – it's just that, you know, that aggression, that, 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 you know, it's violent, it's physical and they like it. They love it. You know, they like pushing guys five yards into the backfield and, you know, it's, it's so much fun to see, you know, in the back end, just watching it all go down. But, you know, those two guys have been big for us and they're going to continue to do that. But I think it's just that mentality that they have and that they really want to just attack people. Thank you, Marla. Last one to Scott. Hey, John, you mentioned the interception that um, Greedy got taken away, but what have you seen out of him since he's come back, especially yesterday, playing as much as he did with Ryan going down? Oh, yeah, Grant. I mean, 
he's just like, he's a ball player. Yeah, it's all good. He, he's a ball player. Um, he even plays that he doesn't make. You know, he's running to the ball as fast as he can. He just wants to get his nose in the, in the play. So I mean, it's just a want to with him. I feel like he really wants to be great. He really wants to succeed. He wants to make every single play out there in the field, and that's what you need. You know, in the back end, regardless of if he started the game or not. You know, we have a three safety package where he does the same thing, and he's just been making big plays since he's stepped on the field. So I'm excited for him.